Incubus is a male demon that lies upon sleeping people, especially women, to have sexual relations with them. Succubus is a female demon that appears in dreams seeking to seduce men through sexual relations. Brothers and sisters, I am Aston Adam Membaya from the channel Sacred Revelations, who was in the 351 chambers of hell. The Lord came and took me to hell. When we arrived at the first chamber of hell, I saw many doors guarded by demons. In this first chamber, I saw it written, the prison of those who brought condemnation through sexual sins. There was a chart detailing the different sexual sins that lead to condemnation. The first sin listed was of those who have sexual relations in their dreams. In this chamber, I could only see large flames of fire and hear the cries of people within the fire, but I couldn't see them. Then the Lord showed me a skeletal man with a wedding ring on his finger, and upon seeing us, he began to tell his story. I was faithful to my wife until death. I never committed fornication or lusted after other women. We were childhood friends and legally married. However, after the marriage, I started having recurring dreams of sexual relations with an unknown woman. I couldn't identify this woman who appeared in my dreams every night to have sexual relations with me. As these sexual dreams became frequent, I decided to talk to my pastor, and together we established a deliverance prayer program. On that day, the pastor prayed for these sexual dreams to cease and be canceled. However, shortly after the prayer session, I realized that the prayer didn't stop these dreams. They continued. And when death came, I was condemned in the afterlife because of these sexual activities in my dreams. Beloved, I saw that this brother who was in the pit of fire, was surrounded by seven female demons. In fact, the woman who had constant sexual relations with this man in the dream was one of those seven female demons from hell. The female demon was a mermaid that would come into his dream to abuse and mate with him. This female demon was pouring stain and impurity over this man during the sexual act. This man was contaminated and stained by these sexual relations in his dreams. Many people do not realize the dangers and spiritual consequences of engaging in sex in dreams, resulting in contamination and impurity in their spirits. While he was speaking to us, I saw that he was in a pit with seven demons dancing around him. I noticed he had a wedding ring on his finger that wasn't burning. Then the Lord said, This man was an evangelist. However, he used to dream of sexual relations for a long period, and this brought him here. When he died, the demons of adultery brought him here to this pit. I was in disbelief, repeating, No, this isn't possible. This shouldn't happen. The Lord then said, 85% of the people in hell are condemned for sins they are unaware of. The Lord said to this man, I did not arrange the marriage and sexual act in the dream. The man questioned, How could I lose my soul because of dreams? The Lord said, My son, it's too late. The Lord continued, One day, this evangelist was walking down the street when he saw a very beautiful woman and, upon seeing her, felt a strong desire in his heart. Despite being married, he wanted to have an affair with this woman, but conscious of his position as an evangelist and of his marriage, he said to himself, I am an evangelist. I already have a wife. I can't do this. What he didn't know was that this woman was a witch possessed by the spirit of a water mermaid, which made her extremely seductive. This aquatic spirit, dwelling in the witch, could read the evangelist's mind and captured the lustful desire he had for her. Quickly, the marine spirit used this lustful thought to bring the evangelist into the marine realm. When the witch met the queen of the sea and the hierarchy of the underwater kingdom, she said, Your Highness, I dwell in the body of our beautiful servant, the witch. I made her beautiful, attractive, and seductive. I made her breasts voluminous and her clothes indecent and revealing. I gave her my beauty to seduce on earth. While she walked down the street, an evangelist was seduced by my beauty and the attraction I gave to Linda. Since the evangelist coveted my beauty, 
I would like to marry him. The evangelist, overcome by lust, opened the door to evil through his thoughts and failed to confess. Upon hearing the mermaid's story, the queen of the sea agreed to the marriage proposal. The witch's spirit was then summoned to the underwater kingdom. The queen of the sea said to the seductive mermaid, All right, if you want to marry the evangelist, we need to meet his family and offer a dowry to formalize the marriage. Then they went to the surface and found a member of the evangelist's family who was involved in witchcraft. They held a meeting to discuss the marriage and offer the dowry. They said to the family, We came to marry your son, the evangelist. He fell in love with our daughter. And because of this, the evangelist's family said to the queen of the sea, You can take him in marriage since he is in love with your daughter, but you will have to give us a dowry that can satisfy us, and that's what we want as a dowry. We all know that the evangelist is a servant of God, so we want you to reduce his years of life so that he dies young, at the age of 33. This is the dowry we demand from you today. The queen of the sea and the seductive mermaid agreed to make the evangelist die at 33 years old. On that day, the marriage between the evangelist and the mermaid was sealed in the spiritual world of witchcraft. After the marriage, the evangelist began having recurring sexual dreams. Worried, he sought his pastor, who prayed for his deliverance and protection against these sexual attacks in dreams. Although the pastor prayed for him, the dreams continued. Every time the pastor prayed, the evangelist went a week without these dreams. But after a while, the sexual dreams returned. Each time this happened, he turned to the pastor, who prayed again, resulting in a week of relief before the dreams returned. One night, while the evangelist was sleeping, the mermaid appeared in his dream and they had sexual relations. The evangelist ejaculated and the mermaid collected the sperm and took it to the marine kingdom. There, she showed the sperm to her friends, the sea mermaids. She said, My husband has good sperm. I would like to have children with him. Immediately, the mermaid introduced the sperm into her womb, got pregnant, and later gave birth to a beautiful child in the marine world. But when the mermaid's friends saw the child, they commented on its beauty and said to the mermaid friend, Next time you visit your husband to mate with him, we will go with you. So when that day came, the mermaid came to sleep with the evangelist in his dream, accompanied by many of her friends from the marine world, and they all had sexual relations with him. The evangelist, noticing the repetitive sexual dreams, sought the pastor. Every time the pastor prayed, he was protected from these sexual attacks for a week. But since repentance was not done correctly and he failed to fully confess, the mermaids continued to return. Thus, when he turned 33 years old, the evangelist died. And on the day of his death, the mermaids began to fight for his soul, and each one said, He belongs to me. Due to his stained and contaminated spirit because of sex and dreams, he ended up in hell. This made me think of all the sexual dreams I've had. The Lord said, There are principles to be freed from spiritual marriage. First, you need to confess to God and then to His servant because you are captive and married in the Spirit. After this confession, you need to go through a deliverance prayer. After this prayer, you need a divorce certificate to return the dowry that was given for your marriage. This is done when you take a seed offering and bring it to my servant. When my servant prays, my kingdom will issue a divorce certificate, and thanks to your seed offering, the dowry will be returned to the marine kingdom, and the divorce will be sealed. The Lord continued to show me that there are four types of spiritual marriages. First, there are the angels who, in the era of Noah, slept with women, and now come in dreams to sleep with humans. Second, there are witches who come to sleep with people in dreams when they are desired during the day. Third, there are lustful sexual thoughts that transform into dreams. And fourth, there are wandering spirits of the dead who come to sleep with people in dreams. To formalize these spiritual marriages, these spirits would find a family member involved in witchcraft and offer a dowry for the marriage. 
The Lord also revealed to me that there are 54 types of dreams. Many people watch soap operas and erotic movies, and these sexual acts in the films contaminate those who watch them. Sexual scenes open portals for demons to enter people's lives. The Lord said that people who are attached to these scenes are linked in spiritual marriage with demons from hell. These demons marry people and have sex with them in dreams. People enter into spiritual marriages when they watch sexual scenes in films and end up having sex in their dreams. These film demons will claim their souls if they do not repent. The Lord said that whenever people watch images of nudity on television, a door will be opened and a demon will come out of the television to capture their souls. Men's dreams are a spiritual reality of their lives. Men's lives are connected to their dreams. Your dreams reflect your spiritual life, and what you dream is what will likely happen. Dreams are a world of their own, a montage of images projected during sleep. There are symbols and signs in dreams that are messages that the children of God must decipher. One of the ways God uses to speak to His children in these last days is through dreams. There are encoded messages in dreams, and the children of God need the anointing to discern them. The Spirit of God can give the interpretation of these dreams, and the children of God must learn to interpret the signs. Due to technology and modernism, the children of God are failing to read the signs in dreams and in everyday life. Even in meteorology, scientists rely on signs in the sky to predict the weather, and in medicine, doctors look for signs in the blood to diagnose diseases. When the Lord wanted to take me to another pit, I asked, Lord, what if I were in the evangelist's place? He looked at me and said, My son, it is too late for him. Brothers and sisters, we are not better than the souls that are in hell. They heard the word just as we did. They were warned just as we were. I am here to warn you because the Lord told me that my mission is to warn humanity. The Lord told me, My son, your voice has become like the music that people play when you preach. Then Matthew 11:17 says, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. Jesus told me, Amen. The fact that you have seen hell does not guarantee your salvation, for many have witnessed it and yet still went to hell. The message we have received is clear. The danger of demonic mermaids and spiritual dreams cannot be underestimated. The enemy uses subtle tactics to ensnare the souls of believers, taking advantage of their hidden desires and unconfessed sins. Even those who are firmly rooted in the faith can be deceived and led into spiritual captivity through seemingly harmless dreams. The key to liberation and protection lies in confession, genuine repentance, and constant prayer. We must seek discernment and the help of the Holy Spirit to interpret our dreams and understand the messages that God sends us. The path to salvation is narrow, and we need to be vigilant with every step we take. The Lord calls us to a life of purity and holiness, and for that, we need to rid ourselves of any contamination that may bind us to the kingdom of darkness. May this message serve as a warning to all of us so that we can protect ourselves and our souls from the enemy's schemes. May we always seek the light of Christ in everything we do, including in our dreams. May God bless and keep us.